Hey everybody, how you doing today? Superfiend here, and welcome back to our Wintertooth campaign led by Throg. Uh, let's see here, we are uh, one turn away from getting a proper um, uh, army for Throg, full of trolls and other stuff. Now, I did actually already start like recording. There's a little gap in the recording, I guess is the better way to say it. And what happened is, is I moved an agent where is he now i don't know where the agent is now i moved an agent or no i moved an army over to castle bastan because we were supposed to raid that region for the monster hunt and almost immediately after putting him in over there i uh the game crashed and it, it was right after starting the recording and literally all i had done was started to move uh wolfric and inger over here towards Wortbad because we're going to go sack that or, or crush it or whatever Anyways, I had started to move them over here, and then I went and raided that region over there, and then the game crashed. So after I loaded the game back up, I wasn't recording, and I went and I moved that lone general over here to raid the region again and move these guys a little bit just to make sure it wasn't going to crash, and then um, and then I stopped playing. And so there's, like, there's, there's two turns that are missing, but literally all I did was, I think, recruit with Throg, and raid this region and then move these guys a little bit to the east. So there's a small gap in the recording. It's because it crashed and I didn't and I didn't want to mess around um, with OBS and all that stuff trying to recover from from that crash. And, and I don't know why it keeps crashing. It crashed. Oh, what it crashed um, a few episodes ago when we were looking at the monster Arca Arcanum in here and then it crashed over here. I don't know if it's one of my mods. I don't know if it's a buggy glitch in the game. It's just not fixed. I don't know what's causing it, but I'm getting these weird crashes. Uh, so anyway, so what do we have here? Uh, sorry for all the rambling. What? Why won't this state down? Goodness. Uh, <laughs> all right, so Throg's got 18 in his... Oh, wait a minute. We took these guys out. Ooh. Are we going to be able to put these guys back in? Wait a minute. Okay, 18 is what Throg's going to have after recruiting these. And then we put these two guys back in, and we move south with Throg. And we're going to cause some real damage with this. Look at this army. This is great. we got Norsk and Ice Wolves to run down uh, skirmishers. It's all trolls. All trolls. we got Ice Trolls, too. So they got Frostbite, which is great. Um, I think it just slows people down. Yeah. And then, um, and then what else do we have here? We have... Some Fimirs with great weapons are anti-large and armor sundering. So we'll throw these at whatever the big heavies are that the AI happens to uh, be fielding in its armies. It's go that's going to be a, a good army. Proper good. Proper good. Okay. And we were moving east because we're going to go and uh, crush this town. Is this their capital? Is Wurt bad the capital? It does not appear to be the capital. It appears that they have more stuff maybe over here. Vampire counts. Where? Where else do they have territory? Uh, it's not showing anybody's capitals. How do I turn on the capitals? Isn't there a way to... Doesn't this screen... There! Uh, no, wait, what's going on? What's going on? All right, diplomacy, that will show us. Okay. Uh, okay, so we're over here, so they do have territory left over in this area. No, they got one settlement left, and that's where we are, right? That's where we are. Okay, turn everything back on. What is going on here? Yes, okay, this is all they have left. On thy knees. So they're going to be out of the game. They don't want to declare peace on us. Um, I do think that we are going to take these two armies and just like run down here as fast as we can and take Maragliano so that we can get that upkeep reduction somebody left a comment in the in one of the more recent videos that uh these two armies suck <laughs> because they don't have enough infantry and it's it's partially true uh, we do have infantry it's just over here in wolfric's army and then we have um, a bunch of jabs and cavalry so i'm i'm kind of as long as we keep using these as like two forces we're kind of okay and maybe what i should be doing is maybe i should be switching um, some because the cav are so fast. Maybe I should um, move swap the cav into one army. That might actually be a good idea. And Inger has the ruination bonus, so we do want Inger to be the guy laying siege. And let's see, this guy, he's got something in here now. Stripped of life, enemy siege hold time minus one. So 
Should be minus four. Minus four, and then and then we got this. So it should be minus seven. Um, because this guy this guy affects local region, right? I'm rambling again, but uh, I just want to go over all the all the goodies we have here. Local region. So I don't think it matters whether he's in an army or not. I don't think he has to be deployed for it to make a difference. So what we're going to do this turn is we're going to go lay siege over here. Ooh. And let's see. One turn before they suffer attrition. Look at that. It's amazing. One turn. Absolutely brutal. It is so powerful. Now, do we have enough movement? Um, let's see. They're not going to... Okay, they're not going to attack us. So what we're going to do is we're going to cruise up... Um, let's see. You know, we're just going to go all the way. Forget it. We're going to suffer attrition for a turn. I guess is what we're going to do. We'll suffer the attrition. It's not going to be that bad. Oh, and we'll do the other thing I talked about, which is let's take all of these guys and uh, no, all of these guys and swap them with the javs. No, not, not, not the javelins. The horses. Okay, we need to swap like one other thing. One other thing. Maybe maybe we take this guy out. Okay, so one other unit. What would we pick? Um, I guess this guy will stay in here. Okay, so now uh, we got a full stack here. That's um, infantry and jabs, and then we've got the um, the faster units here make up our reinforcements. And this guy's got speed sixty five, so he's still pretty fast. Wolfric's really slow. All right. Oh, let's go knock down the doors here. We're going to fight this. It, it's not going to be that exciting of a battle, but we're going to fight it because um, I just played like a ton of my Scar Snake campaign yesterday, and I want to refamiliarize myself with the abilities that these that these uh, heroes have. Okay, and look at this. High Winds of Magic. This is great. Um... Let's see, our reinforcements are going to come on over here, but they're all fast, except for Wolfric and that wolf guy. So maybe what we'll do is we'll put these wolfkin over here. We'll back them up with a few, you know, we'll back them up with um, two, three units of spears, okay? Three units of spears and two jabs. We'll, we'll split up in half, okay? We'll split up in half. We'll make that control group zero just so we um, don't select them over here. And then look at all these guys. Okay, uh, Inger will be one. These guys are both shadow. I forget what lore they have. What is this? Shadow, okay. And this guy, is this guy death? No, metal. And then we got fire. Pyromancy, okay. And so we'll set these guys up over here. And let's see, we'll put this, um, uh, oops, I just wanted one. So he'll, they'll go up there and we'll actually, we'll take both of these guys and we'll set them up over here and we'll bring in the Marat, uh, the berserkers back here. I think that's where they're most useful. A thin line of jabs and actually, actually, let's put the, let's put the javelins in front. Because whatever's in front is going to take more of the missile fire. Okay. And let's see. Slide these back a little bit. See, this is why I have to fight a battle. Because my brain is mush right now. I have to... I'm thinking too much about what am I what am I doing. Okay, these guys there. These guys are going to climb up right over here. Something like that. Get that out of our face. And let's basically do the same thing here. So we'll take all of these... And slide them back. And then we'll take the jabs and move them forward. And let's see. Oh, 
Okay, so the javelins should actually take more of the fire on the way in, and that should be true over here as well. And this could be control group nine. Okay. All right, that was, that took too long. That took too long. Let's do better. Okay. And then uh, the skin wolves. Are these skin wolves? Yeah, skin wolves. Okay, so the skin wolves are taking a little bit of fire, but then it's it's a lot. The uh, the jazz are taking a lot of fire too. Okay. And that's kind of what we want, right? We want the jabs kind of soaking up the damage here. Okay. Uh, Wolfric, where did he come on? So we're going to set Wolfric on this gate. And we'll just um, take all of our horsies. Pop them here. Get the mana core and the dogs. They're fast, so we'll deploy them in the middle. And then they can kind of go wherever they're needed, right? Okay. Let's uh, get going up the walls here. I think we're going to climb up the walls uh, further down this way. And then that way we can kind of get more guys on the walls before they turn to fight us. Maybe. And okay, I'll just get these guys up here. Okay. So we're taking some pretty heavy fire here. See, it is working. It's our jabs that are taking all the damage. Come on, get up there. Yeah, see, our melee troops are not uh, taking a lot of damage. Okay. The enemy gates are destroyed. That's over here. Okay, so now let's let's move these guys over here because they're taking too much fire. And let's see, Inger. We got Graveguard. And let's see. We gotta get some get some juicy debuffs on these guys. Okay, and what's this? Armor and leadership? Okay. And you know what? Let's just go all out. And let's get the fire debuffs in here too, or the fire damage on our uh, on our guys. Oh man, these guys are just like it's debuff central over here. Now, do we have any other unique abilities? Not really, no. Okay. And these guys are evaporating. Okay. Let's get up the walls here. Nobody over here is taking damage. Oh, we forgot this guy, right? Did we get this door open yet? We did. Uh, where's our two skin wolves? And Wolfric. In we go, fellas. And how are we looking here? Okay, let's start going up the walls with these fellas. And now let's uh, charge in over here. Everybody down here is doing okay. Now, Wolfric. There we go. And where's our skin wolves? Get them in. They're coming in. And these guys are in the fight. Get them on the. Um, are, crypt, are crypt ghouls large? Okay. The spearmen can get the zombies. These guys will get the crypt ghouls. And I think this is Graveguard. Yeah, so we'll get the Graveguard. And now, who's losing the battle here? Who's, who's taking too many casualties? No, we got Graveguard right here. They're fighting those Graveguard. Okay. Absolutely no problems uh, defeating these guys over here. Okay, and just looking down the line. Okay, these guys are losing. Need some reinforcements over here with them. Crypt Ghouls. We'll throw these guys in. And we have a we have a hero over here, so we'll be able to use uh, Wolfric's Hunter of Champions thing. We'll go the whole nine yards. We'll we'll buff the crap out of Wolfric when he starts fighting that guy.
Okay, this graveguard up here is still doing well. Okay, let's uh let's pull these guys this way. These guys are out of ammo. They must be out of ammo, okay. Let's bring our wyvern. Okay, everybody over here is um dead. So we're all taken care of. Let's see. Where are we going to put our javelins? There we go. Okay, and then we'll bring all these guys behind the um, behind the berserkers. Everything over here crumbled and dead. Okay, let's. Uh, okay, we got to get these guys out. And yeah, just got to be patient and kill these guys real quick. Come on. Get out of here. Save yourselves. So these are the guys that still have jabs. Okay. So we'll want to um, keep them near the Feldats. Actually, we'll move them and the skin wolves up together. Along with this guy. And Wolfric can uh, cruise behind them. These are just run-of-the-mill spears. They can kind of hang out there. Okay, everything here is doing good. Those graveguard are going to be gone soon. Now, let's, uh, let's bring the dogs in over here. Actually, let's kind of cruise the dogs way into the back. And let's get our horses. This should make for some interesting times. This is going to be a very big charge. <laughs> and we forgot a unit. All right, let's... Uh, which way are they going to go? Oh, man, they're cruising the long way. Why are you guys taking the long way? Okay. I just don't want to take too many more casualties here, so I'm, I'm being a little bit more cautious. Yeah, see, okay, here they come. Okay, we'll change them to walking. What are they after? Are they after the mana core? They're after the mana core. No, they're after these guys. Get off the wall. Get off the wall. You're in trouble. Uh, God, I can't click anywhere. Get out of there. <laughs> All right, so we got these guys off the wall. These fell bats are, are getting wrecked. Okay, let's get this guy back over here. There, they evaporated. These ones are going to evaporate now. There we go. That's what we like to see. All right, Wolfric. Let's go finish this off here, buddy. And let's get our magic guys up so we can, like, you know, buff everything nice and proper. Okay, Wolfric, you're going to go wreck this guy. Magic sword. Uh, let's see. Armor. He's already dead. <laughs> Sorry, Fremont. Bad day to be a vampire. Or whatever you are. I'm not sure what you are. Don't look like a vampire, but... Okay, so we didn't take too many casualties. Just um, mostly javelin and one unit of spears got uh, roughed up pretty bad. Okay. Oh, 13k. 
13k or let's see. You know what? 13k. We need the 13k. And we got some pretty pretty big uh, looting bonuses there. Um, we'll go ahead and go back to a raiding stance. That'll help us get a little bit of money. So now we're hurting a little bit with attrition. It's okay. Oh, we want uh, Stripped of Life again. Nobody leveled in here. All right. So let's see. Okay. And what's this? Yeah, let's go ahead. You know, we just got a bunch of money, so let's uh, let's spend it. Net zero. That's how I run my campaigns. Uh, income from sacking. And you know, I'm such a knucklehead. I noticed. Um, I've been so excited about this uh, income from sacking thing, but it's it's just adjacent regions. So um, I don't really know if it's that that great to be building back here. It does provide corruption. Um, public order recruitment cost. Public order plus two in your adjacent provinces. You know, it's almost like maybe the um, the flesh carver is a good choice. But all you can all you can build in these um, in these outposts is like basic marauder recruitment. So and horsemen. I mean marauder and horsemen. All right. Well, um, okay. Now this is a this is a, a, a correct settlement. Let's see. Now this is sacking faction wide, so we want that one. Yeah, we'll get that. Let's see. Yeah, let's unlock the extra slot here. And what do we get with this one? Minus one percent. Yeah. Okay, we'll do that. I mean, all the, all the upkeep reduction we can get really adds up. I mean, 1% sounds so pathetic, but um, if you have 10 of these buildings and it's 10% and it's faction-wide, you know, that, that adds up over time. So I know I know a lot of people say things like, well, it costs 1600 and over the course of the campaign, you'll have to run it for, you know, 67 turns for it to matter. Um, I don't think about it that way because I'm not trying to build up a huge treasury at the end of the campaign. Uh, I could end the campaign and have zero and be happy. Okay. Now, let's see here. Yes, we want to build this here. Yeah, I think we want to build that. And let's go ahead and build... Uh, Okay, no, we're right about where we were at the beginning of the turn, and Throg's going to be um, sucking money out of us when we get him out of there. Now we could take this guy, and we could think about coming over here and starting to like settle these. You know, we could just eh, we could recruit a guy here just as easy, right? Yeah, we could do that just as easy. Okay, end turn. Now there's a good chance that the vi vampire counts are going to come up here and um, take work bad. I'm okay with that if they do. I mean that's that's fine with me. Campaign movement range five percent. Uh, we'll take the melee attack because we're not real big on armor. Now what do we got here? I don't like these guys running around, and what I want to know is if they have any more armies. Okay, Throg's coming out, guys. A proper troll army. Um, might even be worthwhile to finally uh, fight this battle. Let's see, we gotta... Okay, do we want to teleport or do we want to walk over there? What's the benefit of walking over there? Nothing, really. Okay, let's get replenishment going with this guy. And let's see. I kind of think we want to do um, a little bit of raiding here 
And where do we got to go with Throg? We need money with Throg, and we need it fast. So I'm guessing maybe Marienburg. Oh, he's got a good army. And we could attack these guys too. Uh, but the danger in doing that is if they have a second stack that's over here somewhere and like starts running up into here, and then we won't be able to leave with Throg. Or it'll be more difficult to leave with Throg, I should say. And then what do we got to do with this one again? We have to... Against a settlement belonging to the Greenskin tribes. Where's the closest uh, Greenskin? And does it have to be actual Greenskins, or can it be like... And it's got the icon of the actual Greenskins, so... Uh, let's give him a horse. We could probably disband him. Von Karstein. Okay, Throg. Ooh. How many how many turns is it gonna take before we can hit something juicy like uh, Grunberg or I I think we need to hit Marienburg. Now these guys do they have allies? No. They they have no allies. They got trade. Okay. And do these guys are they neutral or do they hate us? It's deteriorating. So if we leave these guys up here, and we got plus eighteen. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go set up right next to these guys. Actually, we'll set up right here. Twenty-three. It's it's over the bar. All right. We're gonna set up right there with them. And let's see, vampire count should like us a lot. Yeah. It was also recommended to um, go to war with the vampire counts to get um, whatever their capital is, because we'll be able to get rid of all the attrition. It's probably this one. Or no. No, it's a uh, Gork and Mork, which is all attrition. Uh, if we get this is this takes ten turns, but then it reduces vampiric corruption. Okay, so that's kind of good. Uh, this is what we really want. I want to get down to Miragliano, and I want to get this minus twenty uh, twenty percent upkeep for land units. Isn't everything a land unit in this game? I think everything's a land unit. But I think we're going to um, kill these guys on the next turn. If they don't move. And over here, what do we want to do? Whoa, he's not he's not replenishing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Big mistake. Big mistake. Okay. All right, one more turn. Um, we should be able to get Warp Bad and then fly over here and get Grumberg. I don't think we're going to go bankrupt. It's kind of risky. Worst comes to worst, I could demolish a couple buildings. I don't want to, but I could. We just got to get Throg um, back down here where he can do some damage, right? Ah, oh, they're running away in a Force March. Reichland, Imminent Rebellion. Okay, that's over here. We do have upgraded garrison, so we have a chariot. So I don't think the Rebellion will take the town on the turn that it spawns. Let's go ahead, strip the life again. Okay, 
We're just gonna cruise south with Throg. I, I we can't chase these guys. It's it's pointless. I think we'll go southwest now. So that's two, three, four turns versus. Uh, two, three, this is four. It's looking like the fastest way over here is through the water. So that's the way we're going to go. We're going to take the water out. <laughs> we're, we're on our troll barges here. Um, Throg's real crafty, okay? He made a bunch of barges for his trolls to travel on. And we're getting less money here each turn, so I think we kind of have to. Um, I think we're going to raise this, and it's just a bunch of crypt ghouls and zombies, so we're going to auto resolve it. We'll raise it for the hound. Uh, let me double check that. Yes, we'll raise for the hound. Faction destroyed, Von Karstein. And next turn, we need to move somewhere else where we can raid and get some good money. Strong versus character causes severe damage. It's an area direct damage. Well, we got two points, so we'll get both of them. A pendulum of whatever. I don't use that pendulum spell very often. It, it is okay. It does okay damage, but you have to be like positioned on the flanks for it to be worthwhile. Oh man, look at this. Okay. All right. And what are we gonna get next turn? Missile damage when fighting green skins. Immunity to barren wasteland attrition. Physical resistance. 10% for Marauder Infantry when fighting greens. Okay, that'll come in handy. Ooh, Empire could show up again. They could be back. Ready for duty, technology research, the brutal business, okay. I guess this is all we can do is uh, minus attrition from vampiric corruption. All right, um, we, need, we need to get raiding again, right? Who is this down here? This is also vampire counts. Um, Who owns this? This is runes. So we're not going to get any income this turn. But on the next turn, we're going to surprise attack uh, Grunberg. And then we'll go kill this rebellion. And that's where we're going to get some money. Okay. And then Throg. Yeah, okay. I'd kind of like to end the episode on a high note, but I don't want it to draw out too long either. So probably what's going to happen is, is we'll end up sieging Marienburg, and that's where we'll cut the episode off, and then we'll start the next one with the uh, with the battle there. Okay, um, now they're, they're strong enough to assault. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. And I have no money. Okay, we need to uh, we need to attack this. And then get from my presence. Uh, declare war. And they have no allies. Okay. I probably should have left the raiding stance. Because we're taking... Um, we start the battle off extra winded or so. Oh, no. He left it automatically. Okay, good. Okay, and we'll get all the way in here. 
Ooh, how far can we go Force March? Ooh, we could almost get all the way up there. Almost, okay. Let's fight this, and what do they got? Nothing spectacular, they got an organ gun. A hell blaster, okay. And they got a unit of um, these pistoliers. It could be outriders. I think they're outriders. Our jabs will will melt these guys, and our skin wolves and stuff will take out the uh, the crossbows. Oh, this map! Oh, I have fought many a battle on this map in my empire campaigns. Okay. All right, Wolfric, let's get you up here. Uh, you know, let's put the mana core down here. Uh, why are they lined up like that? It's an odd arrangement. Uh, these units, these units are so depleted. Some of them. Okay. Now these are missile units. So they will not um, engage us in melee. And then we just have to worry about these guys. Okay. And what's this? This is the Hell Blaster. How far can it hit? It's got a pretty short range. So I'm thinking what we'll do... Now, can these guys hide? They can hide. Okay. I'm thinking we'll put the dogs and stuff over here. Let's get all these guys in front. Wolfric in front. Um, you know, we're going to put this guy with these wolves over here. Don't forget our mana core. And, ooh. Got a good idea with the mana core. Okay. This might work. We'll see. We'll see what we can do here. The AI is not very smart. As soon as we move into the trees, the AI is going to, like, forget that we exist, right? And if we just set these guys over here and over here... And we don't want to get too close yet because it'll force the AI to move uh, into us. Okay, let's just uh, let's get up here in the trees. So what'll happen is is the mana core will go over here, and the mana core can't hide, so they'll be able to see it. But then when we move these guys in, um, they'll want to send some units like over to catch these guys, and then we can come out of the trees with all this stuff and probably hit the crossbows like in the back. And at the same time, if we move forward with our magic and we just start spamming spells on top of them. And of course, we got the boat with Wolfric. What's the range on this? I mean, look at that. It's got pretty good range, right? So if we move forward with all these guys kind of at the same time, they'll start coming forward. We move these guys up the flank and the AI will turn to face the mana core with the crossbows. It'll leave the crossbows back here. And then we come out of the trees and, and crush the crossbows and the uh, the hell blaster. Okay, so let's um start getting these guys up. And we'll just walk. Okay, and I won't take everything but the mana core. He's, a, he's casting spells on the mana core. Good. Waste your winds of magic. Okay, let's see. Now, I don't know if they can see these guys yet. No, they can't see him yet. Okay.
Okay, so they're they're turning the face the oncoming threat from over here. There we go. The crossbows turning to fight the manacore. And now we get these guys running. I'll make them control group uh, ten, and we'll lock it. Okay. Okay. See, the crossbows are staying on the manacore. There we go. So these guys got crushed. Now, where is this guy going? Okay, we kind of stumbled into a lot of stuff over here, but these guys are going to wreck it. There we go. No, what are you doing? Get back over this way. All right, let's see. I think he's like the great swords. Where is this guy going? Go get him. Good grief. Where's all of our Vortex stuff? Oh, we're, we're still wrecking these guys. Let's get the Ice Wolves in here. There we go. Battle's over. Get some, uh, do we got any damage? Let's see. Where's some damage stuff? Missiles. Do we got any bolts? There we go. That takes care of those guys. They're still hanging on over here. Let's get Inger. All right. We didn't take too many casualties. We took a few. Uh, hopefully we get, oh, I don't know, maybe 5,000. I'm hoping for 5,000. Forty-two. Okay, that's good. Um, and then you know what? We'll sack for an extra eight hundred. Okay. And then now, let's see. Force march. How far can we get? Force march. My challenge, undeniable. We'll just go as close as we can to Altdorf. Did we move Throg yet? Okay, Throg. Let's see. Okay, now moving on to land here is kind of risky because they could have um, multiple stacks here. So let's... Who's the least useful in the fight? Uh, maybe one of these guys. Let's scout ahead. Let's just see what kind of um, armies we're, we're blundering into here if we move on to the land. Okay, looks good. So with Throg, we're going to move to here, and on the next turn, should be able to get Marienburg. No problem, right? No problem. And now over here, got to keep ourselves afloat. Reduce enemy leadership, and... 
We just need to keep the AI out of our hair for like one turn. So let's see. Okay, we'll get those units. Okay. It's all spearmen. So we should be okay. We should be okay. Let's get these spells taken care of. Uh, Storm of Magic. And let's see what happens. And that'll be it for this episode, right? Yes, okay. That's it for this episode. And the next one, we come back. We're going to get um, Marienburg. We're going to take care of this rebellion here. And uh, we'll just see what we can do next with Throg. Because he's got a good army. I want to be using it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a good afternoon.